Rage is a brand new game from id Software. It's the first new IP from the creators of the genre. It's not Doom, Quake, or Wolfenstein. It's, it's something truly new. But at its core, Rage is a first-person action game. Uh, but we've added things to the game to make it more than just a running gun. We have vehicle combat, we have vehicle racing, we have a whole host of unique characters and that all encapsulate around a rich storyline. So we feel that with Rage, we are going to blow past expectations of what people feel about an id Software game. If you're looking for fame, if you're looking for glory, prove yourself on the dusty eight. You think you can drive? So for Rage, uh, our plan is to, you know, to blend a lot of different elements that you may normally find in different games. You know, for instance, like vehicle racing. But for us, you know, the core of the game is still that moment-to-moment -moment action of the first-person genre. And it's, it's your connection to the weapons you have, to the tools you have in your arsenal, and also to your vehicle. Like other games, you know, vehicles are, are kind of like a mainstream, but in, in Rage, they're in addition to your arsenal. When you, when you get a vehicle or a buggy or something, it's yours for the whole game. So any upgrades you buy for it or things to be fine that you can add on to it, it's yours for the whole game. And we really wanted to focus on the fun aspects of the other elements of the first person shooter. So we feel that with a strong first person element, and these additive aspects to the game that we are giving players a more complete experience. You look like you could do some tricks, stranger. So for Rage, our game plan is to make it open but directed. And, uh, you know, as game players ourselves, we hate having 20 quests and we're all lost and, you know, walk around the wasteland, can't find where to go. Uh, we want all of the jobs to be very specific and if you're lost or confused, you can access your job log, find exactly where you need to go. But if you're the type of player that wishes to explore, we have many opportunities for you. You can race more, you can fight bandits, you can cruise around the wasteland and look for side jobs. So depending on how you want to play, this game can either be you know, long or really long. Uh, so it all you know, depends on how you want to play. So all id Software games have the classics, you know, staple of weapons, the shotgun and the machine gun and the pistol. Uh, you know, those of course are back, but we have uh, many different elements to some of the weapons. We have some very over-the-top rage weapons like, you know, the crossbow, but we also have different ammo types for the weapons that change up, you know, how the weapon works, what works best in different situations. Besides the weapons in Rage, we have a number of engineering items that you can find or that you can make yourself that add to the experience. For instance, we have these little turrets, we have little, little sentry bots that follow you around, we have remote control car bombs, you know, a whole host of unique uh, different tools that you can add to your arsenal. It's truly a multi-console uh, platform. Um, it's brand new technology which was built from the ground up. So that has allowed development on the PS3 and the 360 and the PC much easier than taking old technology and shoving it into modern day consoles. So we haven't, uh, id Software hasn't suffered, for lack of a better word, uh, you know, the, the cross-platform console woes that other developers have because John Carmack, you know, the genius behind the technology, started from the ground up. And it's really made uh, us focus more on the gameplay and, awesome art and cool characters more than, than trying to squeeze everything into some console. Got a problem and I believe you might be the man for the job. So Rage will have a multiplayer component. There's a group of guys back in and we're working very hard on it but it's a little too early to talk about it because we wanted Rage multiplayer to be truly Rage-ish. You know have that Rage feel and uh, one of the neat things about us as developers is that we iterate a lot. And until we nail the multiplayer, until we know it's fun, you know, we're kind of hesitant to talk about it, but it, it, it'll be more than just something that we added on. It won't, it won't just be an afterthought. It's something that is important to us. Some people may feel that it's a bit like an RPG, but it's really not an RPG. Uh, the progression of your character is really in the arsenal of weapons. You know, your, your car can get upgraded, you can buy new things for it. So you're not really tracking stats, you know, like strength or endurance. Uh, it's more the progression of what you have in the story itself. So we have a very uh, dynamic uh, animation system that uh, 
the bad guys will actually you know, know where they get hit. They'll grab their arm if they get hit in the arm, or you know, grab their, their, their stomach, and that adds a, uh, a really neat kind of connectedness to the experience. So Rage uh, is slated to come out sometime next year. We will be on the PC, the 360, and the PS3. And uh, I truly believe that Rage will be the best game that its software has ever done. Couldn't be any easier. What do you say?